If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Apart from creating subforms in Access by creating two separate forms and then clicking and dragging one form onto another as shown in the previous lesson, you can also create a subform in Access by using the subform subreport control. However, before you create a subform by using the subform subreport control, ensure you enable the Use Control Wizards button by clicking the More arrow in the lower right corner of the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to show its drop-down menu. Ensure the Use Control Wizards button is highlighted, which means it is enabled. If not highlighted, then click the button in the drop-down menu to enable it. This makes it much easier to create a subform. To create a subform in Access by using the Subform Subreport Control, open the form within which to insert a subform in Form Design View. Then click the Subform Subreport button in the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the form you want the subform to cover. If you enable the Use Control Wizards button, then the Subform Wizard dialog box appears. In this dialog box, select the form, table, or query to use as the basis for the subform. Answer each question posed to you in each screen and click the Next button to continue through the screens in the wizard. When finished, Click the Finish button to create the new subform if needed, and then insert the subform control for the selected subform into your main form. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.